What is going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here, bringing you uh, Booster Set 15 Infinite Rebirth uh, Week 3, I believe, Card Week Review 3, um, Part 2. So here we go. We're going to keep on where we left off, and uh, hopefully I will be able to put a Part 3 up with the rest, and most likely there's going to be a Part 4 because there's a lot of stuff that I missed over the week. So anyways, uh, Star Vader World Line, World, World Line Dragon. Uh, try saying that 10 times fast. So it looks like it's a forerunner. It has, yeah, it's probably a forerunner, grade zero. It has, I guess you can get it in 2014 something special. I don't know. It looks kind of like a dog. I don't know. It's kind of scary with the eye if you look at it really closely. But anyways, um, let's get into it. Uh, choose a card with reverse in its name from your hand and discard it. At the beginning of your ride phase, if you have a Link Joker Vanguard and your Vanguard is not grade 3 or greater, you may pay the cost. If you do look at the top 5 cards from your top of your deck, search for up to 1 Link Joker, reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. Choose a card with reverse. Huh. Okay. So, I guess it's a really... It's, this is not what I expected it to be. Oh, it's a soul card. Okay. It, it, then it, yeah, it works out, I guess. Oh, it's a horse. It's like some form of horse or something. Now, anyways, it's a griffin, I guess. But anyways, um, this card's actually pretty good because it, it allows you to ensure that you get your Omega Glendios, if anything, and it gives you that grade 3 searcher thing. It just The only downside is that you have to ditch, ditch a card, which is reverse. So in other words, you technically have to have a grade 3 in your hand to begin with. But then again, you can use the other cards that support it to give it to find the reverse card, which is actually really helpful. And I think that the only downside to this would be the fact that you don't have a booster, and then and the upside is that you don't have to counter blast to search for the top five. I have has its ups and downs. We'll have to see what happens in the meta to find out. But I think that this card is a viable possibility to use. Uh, number two, it would be Silver Thorn Assistant Zelma. So it's a grade one seven K Pale Moon. So choose another okay. Choose another of your rear guards with silver thorn in its na card name and put it into your soul. When this unit is placed on rear guard circle, if you have a pale moon vanguard, you pay the cost. If you do choose a card with silver thorn in its card name other than a card named silver thorn, this is from your soul and call it to rear guard circle. So this is just exactly like a purple trapezius, except that you can't use silver thorn, silver thorn assistant Zama. And I think it's the exact same thing. It's just purple trapezius, but it has the silver thorn. So this is going to be a really good card. Watch out for this. If anything, try to pick them up while they're cheap if you're playing in Japan. And yeah. This is going to be a pretty good card, I'm not going to lie. Purple Ultra Pieces was a good card. So now, uh, Aqua Forest, Blue Storm, Battle Princess, Krista, Elizabeth. By the way, I'm only doing this in the order it's been announced. Well, not announced, but like in the list. So if you want to follow along with me, Card 5 Vanguard Wikia. Counterblast 1, uh, Grade 1, 7K, by the way. Counterblast 1 card with Blue Storm in its card name. When an attack hits a Vanguard during the battle that this unit boosted, if you have an Aqua Force Vanguard... You may pay the cost if you do choose up to one Aqua Force from your hand and call it to rear guard. So I guess, in a way, in the fact that it doesn't say open means that you can call on. So it, it allows you to get another attack through, which is the whole point of Aqua Force without playing stand triggers, which I would approve of this very highly because of the fact that you can technically run the deck now without maybe less stand triggers, and it forces your opponent to guard because if your attack hits, you will get the next attack in. So it... Put, applies pressure on your uh, opponent. It's really good. It's 7k, so 7k is always good. Uh, Blue Storm Cadet Marios. Mario! Uh, Forerunner. So this is the Forerunner of the deck. Uh, I, I mean, guess it's a booster for the Aqua Force. When an attack hits a Vanguard during the battle, that this unit boost if you have an Aqua Force Vanguard, and it is the third battle of that turn or more. Look at the top five cards of the top of your deck. Search for up to one card with Maelstrom and its card name related to your opponent. Put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Actually, pretty good card, considering the fact that it doesn't need a cost or anything. And you just need an Aqua Force Vanguard. So I would suggest that this is a very good starting Vanguard to start off with if you really want to get the Maelstrom going. Which I know you probably do, because the Maelstrom reversed and everything is actually really powerful. Um, what was that? Okay, uh, so Machining Locust, uh, Mega Colony, Grade 1, 7K. So choose one of your card from your hand, discard it when this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle if you have a... Mega Colony Vanguard and all your all of your opponents rear, Vanguard and rearguards are rest. You may pay the cost if you do draw a card. Eh, it's all right. I don't see it very viable considering the fact that it would probably only activate when the lim the break ride goes off. The only thing working for it is the 7K 
but I feel like most of the time it'd probably just be a 7k body whereas only when you get the break right off you will you will be able to do this but it's not even a plus one it's more of like a one for one considering you're discarding and then you're drawing but then again it's a way, good way to cycle through the deck uh, now, uh, Sh Revengers again, but this is Sh this is sorry Sh Shadow Paladin, but this is Revengers uh, overcoming Revenger Rukia or Ruke, I don't know how you say it. Um, uh, grade two, nine K. When a Grade one or less Shadow Paladin is placed on Rearguard Circle, is placed on your Rearguard Circle if you have a Vanguard with Revenger in its card name, this unit gets plus three thousand until end of turn. So it's kind of like the Brother thing, but it doesn't gain five thousand; it gains uh three thousand, so it's still a good twelve K body, but. I don't know if it. I don't think it's very viable considering the fact that you need one or less. If it was, I I don't know. You have just you'd have to look. It's just like the brothers and all that in part one. You have to like think about it and all that. But I don't feel that it's gonna be too big of a card considering the fact that you have to play Tartus to probably get the consistency of this card to go up, and you probably have to play. a a fair bit of great ones, like maybe 15 instead of 14. I don't know. And then there's Self Control Revenger Rakia, the grade 1, 7k. So when a grade 0 Lash Up has placed on your, your card, if you have a. It's the same thing, but except it's grade 0. So this card for sure I would not play because of the fact that it's the. You'd need a grade 0, which is like, whoa, I'm not going to call grade 0s, like, unless if there's really good ones. So, well, then again, there's the Dark Side Trumpeteer combo, but I don't think it's really viable with this card. Like, it's not worth it. I probably would not play this because there's better 7Ks of Avengers than this card. Um, now, History Liberator Meron. I guess Meron's cousin or sister. Doesn't look like it with the art. It looks really weird. It looks like a doll, really ugly doll. Okay, when this unit, uh, grade 2, 9K. Uh, when this unit is placed on your guard to circle from your deck, if you have a gold pile manger, look at the top five cards of your deck and search for up to one grade three or greater gold pile and reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. So the fact that this is grade two, three or greater suggests to me that possibly they will be getting a grade four. We don't know because actually there is the possibility because they're having a trial deck soon for the, based on the manga royal paladins but that's royal paladins by the way you royal paladin players yeah you know you just heard me say something about the manga there's gonna be 17 new released um uh, cards for royal paladin that you might want to get your hand might want to look out for that you know prepare yourselves keep get those royal paladin cards ready anyways uh continuing on the cards all right i guess the fact that you have to be called from the deck like gold paladin is it's kind of wishy-washy in a sense because I don't know if I would play it because I feel that there's better ways to get to the grade three but I don't remember if they have the top five card searcher so maybe this is the next best thing but it does take up a grade slot which is kind of annoying because of the fact that there are a lot better grade twos and if you're running the blaster blade you're probably have to play four of those at least and then you probably have to play like maybe three of these or like maybe a one of those but still it takes up room and then there's physical force library of Zoran or Zoran I feel like the repeating names of like just the royal paladins like all of them because i remember that there was like a zenith guy i don't remember but like it, it looked the exact same it was blowing bubbles and all that bt5 guys bt05 check it out royal paladin grade 3 9k so anyways this is a grade 1 7k i'll put this unit to your soul when this unit is placed on vanguard from your deck if you have a gold paladin vanguard you may pay the cost if you do look at the top three cards of your deck search for up to one liberated card name Call it here. Rear guards are going to put the rest on the top of the bottom deck in any order. I guess this card's actually pretty decent because of the fact that it helps to... Oh, look, it's a giant as well. Anyways, uh, this it helps out with the fact that it um, can call stuff from the guests from the top of your deck. I'm not sure if it... it well, it'll call stuff from your deck. So it's more precise calling, which I kind of... Which I, pr I like a lot, but... Actually, I don't think there's anything else to say about that. The only issue is that it's, again, luck sacking with Gold Paladin where you have to be really lucky because there's a possibility you might not get a good card like grade zeros, but that would probably not happen because getting three grade zeros isn't the worst thing in the world, and I guess it's all right. So moving on, we have Kagero. I know, you guys. Oh, yeah, by the way, they banned Condor as your starter, so it's kind of like you might want to play Red Pulse Draco Kid now. 
You know, yeah, maybe. I don't know, but you can still play Conroe's like a, a grade zero and she won. But anyways, we have uh, I guess Conroe's cousin or brother, Lizard Soldier Grom. So this guy is a grade one 5K. I read this guy up, or I actually already. So and he's a common, which is pretty hype because it's Soul Blast you when this use place on rearguard circle. If you have a Kagiro Vanguard, which is Kagiro, you may pay the cost if you do choose up to two cards from your damage zone and turn them face up. This is huge for Kagiro because of the fact that most likely. Um, actually, I'll get on to that later, but yeah, you, it, it's going to help, like, if you were to say the end or anything, or anything, because Kagura is very counterblast heavy, you could, on counterblast, and most of the time, Kagura, what did they use with their soul? The most thing would be, like, Wyvern Bomber or whatever to k draw one card, but this way you at least get to your, get your counterblast back, which is a lot more viable, I suppose, I find, in my opinion. So, yeah, guys, this is a pretty decent card. The only downside is the fact that it's 5k. I would have preferred if it was, like, at least 7k or 6k. But anyways, it's a pretty good card. I'd probably run a few, maybe like two or three, not four, I don't think. Moving on, Machining Black Soldier. So this card is, when the, it's a grade one, 7K, when this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard with Machining, oh, it's, K, it's, a K, it's a K clone. So yeah, this 10K attack, grade one's pretty good. Nothing more to say. Assuming that this, oh, it's a four runner. It's a grade zero, 5K, Mega Colony. Machining Little B. I don't know what's up with them and making like robot beetle thingies now all of a sudden. So any anyways, for runner, put this unit to your soul, choose an enemy rear guards with machining in its card name and you may stand it. If you do that, this unit gets that unit gets plus three thousand power. Oh, actually pretty good. Not gonna lie, I guess I don't know if you can do it during the battle, but I'm assuming you can. No, you have to activate it, so you can't uh activate is yeah, activate you can do it, I think if I'm correct. With my rulings, activate, you can play it during the battle. Yeah, so you can do this after you attack. Yeah. So it's pretty clutch, I guess. Pretty good card to run as a starter. Now, we're moving on to cards that um, have not been uh, technically confirmed to be in the booster set, but because of the fact that they don't have like actual card art yet that's been released. But uh, the magazines have released them, and you can just read the text off here, so people have made translations and all that good stuff. So we have Machining Spark Hercules. Uh, if you remember, there's Hercules as a grade 2 in Mega Colony, so now this is 11k grade 3. So Limit Break 4, Counter Blast 2, card with Machine Against card name, a special Counter Blast when this unit attacks a Vanguard. If you have, if all of your opponent's Vanguards and Rearguards are all are rest, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets plus 10,000 power, critical, plus 1 until the end of turn. And choose one of your opponent's Rearguards, and that unit cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. Huh. Soul Blast 1, card with Machine Against card name. Rest all your opponent's rear guards, and this unit gets plus power, power plus two. Th Whoa, okay. What the heck? This card's actually really good. So it seems to me that the deck Mega Colonies is being more viable at grade three, whereas grade two and grade one, it's just more like kind of like Link Joker, whereas it's like, oh, okay, I have 7k body vanillas and all that. It's not a big deal. But when you see, it seems that when you get to grade three, that's when the stuff happens. Yeah. So when you break rider, you get this guy out. It's gonna be really good because then your abilities all go off. But then again, I still would not run some of the cards. I like that grade that 7k cycler. It's I wouldn't play a lot of them. But this card's really good, nonetheless. Uh, machining red soldier reminds me of a black the black guy uh, the black um, ant guy from the 8k. I don't remember its name. When this unit attacks, if it's grade 2, by the way, 9k. When this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard with machining in its card name, this unit gets plus 3,000. Okay, so the 12, the 12k 12 attacker. Okay. Good turn. Okay, Silver Thorn Upright Lion. So this card, it looks like Barking Manicore. I feel like I've seen it before. I think if I'm right, it wasn't one of the episodes. I'm not sure. But yeah, it looks pretty sick. It's grade 2, 9k. So, Propalement. When another unit with Silver Thorn in its card name is placed on Rearguard Circle from your soul, if you have a Pale Moon Vanguard, this unit gets plus 3,000 until end of turn. Uh, I can see this working because of the fact that it is quite easy to get stuff from soul for Pale Moon. It's not that hard, I guess, but you still need quite a bit of setup. So I could see this being played, I guess. Then you have the room. So I think you have the room. Maybe you don't. I feel like you have the room for at least one or two because most people play the 10k as well. So I'm probably going to go really fast through this one. I don't think I have the time. So I'll stop here, guys, and I'll continue on 
with this card in the next segment. So stay tuned for that. We only have a few more left. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll be all caught back up. Okay. So stay tuned, guys. See you in the next video. This is Tony from Team Divine Pro signing off.